Hi everybody, this is Phoenix. Today we're talking burkas. So the other day I was on a bus and uh, there was this, this dark skinned gentleman, um, but dressed very nice. I don't know why, why I say but dressed very nice. Like I thought you were gonna assume that he was like, yo homie, what up nigga? I mean, that's, that's just racist, that is. Why would I even assume that? Cause there's a lot of racist people out there that ain't be respecting niggas none. That's why. But we're not, we're not talking about the N word. We're talking about the M word. Muslims today for this gentleman uh, after we both realized that we we're getting off at the same stop walking down the same street um, to our respective homes um, had a bit of a chat with me about his religion about being Muslim and start off him talking about having very strict parents and whatnot and I, I couldn't help it I was curious and I asked him out of total earnest and respect I even said that to him I said you know I don't really understand much about the Muslim culture um, you know, but the whole thing with, with, with the women wearing the, the burqas, the very uncomfortable, not allowed to show any skin. And I said to him, is, is that to do with, you know, because they, they ate the apple and they, they the first sin and, and they caused this hell hole to unfold. And, um, and he pretty much said that, no, uh, we actually don't believe in, uh, the story of the first sin, the whole apple eating thing with Eve. Apparently all the blame isn't on her shoulders in their way of thinking. And, um, and he, he started explaining to me that basically in their culture, women are very revered, uh, highly respected, very holy creatures, beautiful and, and godly. And, um, and then started to explain why, you know, they, they forced to wear the, the burgers and not reveal any flesh, um, except to their husband. And, you know, I, I, I reiterated it to him because I kind of caught on the direction he was going. And I said to him, so it's kind of like, you know, the flesh of sin, man can't control his urges. So the woman covers up so that she doesn't prompt that, that fleshly urge, that sinful reaction. And um, I don't think he quite understood my, my to the point phrasing, but he, he finished what he was saying, which pretty much it was just reiterated my um, guess at what he was saying. So I, I reiterated exactly that. I said, so basically they, they cover up so they don't elicit a sinful response in the man that's watching them. And he goes, um, yeah, yeah, basically. That they're holy, they're respected, but um, you know, men just can't control themselves, so they gotta cover up. So um so I said to him at this point, because at this point he was uh walking off towards his house and mine was just a few houses down, I said to him, then wouldn't it make more sense instead of them covering up for, for the men to wear a blindfold. <laughs> yeah, and, and I giggled a bit because jokes have, have a better way of incepting into people's minds than just making a solid point that they'll just put up a wall and reject. Um, but besides the giggle and besides the strategic humorous style that I delivered that point, shouldn't men just wear a, a blindfold? Um, there's actually a very serious logic being used there because you know, if the issue isn't with women, and if women are actually very respected um, in the Muslim culture, then why do they have to subject themselves to harsh conditions, whether it's really cold and they're like, thank God for this burqa, or whether it's really freaking hot and they're like, fuck, I hate this burqa. Why do they have to suffer outside normal, respectful conditions? But at the same time, they're respected, you know, and it, it's all because the guy can't control his urges. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not having a stab. This isn't a hate video. Um, this is just sharing an encounter I had, and I haven't really broached this topic intimately with, with those on the other side of the fence who actually have some realistic stuff to share with me about the culture. So if you have any feedback on this, Maybe this guy didn't put it across to me right. Maybe I took it the wrong way, but it seemed pretty clear that he made the point that they are very holy and respected. It's because that man and his sinful flesh can't control himself when he sees them that they've got to cover up. Which to me, I, I don't I don't get the logic. You know, it's it's like let's say you have a religion that says you cannot eat crustaceans or seafood or you will go to hell forever. Let's just say there happens to be a religion that says that, that you can't eat shrimp. Um, 16 times more than it mentions no gay sex. Let's just, just to say there happens to be a religion out there that many people know, okay? Would it make sense if you were a person who liked to be immersed under the sea and you lived under the sea, 
90% of the time, okay? You're like a 24-7 or 23-7 scuba diver, okay? Would it make sense because you have such a ravenous appetite for seafood, and you tell me if this makes sense to you, that you then insist that all of the sea creatures get out of the water and hide away from you whenever you're around. To go out on the dry sand and the half scorching sun because as much as you love and respect them and they are holy and not to be eaten, you just can't help yourself. Therefore, they must remove themselves from their natural, comfortable, respectable conditions. Does that make sense? And like I said, the logic to me is so stark, it's blinding, but it only really parallels it if indeed it is true, if that is actually the reason why, um, why Muslim women are not just encouraged, but why it is enforced, brutally so, that, um, that they wear the burqa. And you know, maybe, like I said, maybe I got the story wrong. Feel free to post your two cents on the matter. Um, I think it's all a little bit extreme, to be honest. I mean, they don't, men don't have to wear a blindfold because neither one is practical, okay? But if it is a, an issue with their vision and their sinful flesh, then they could just create sunglasses with some extra layers of shade that makes pretty much opaque. So you just see the rough dimensions and shape of the person you're looking at. And there goes the problem. If the problem is with your eyesight, then why to the detriment of what is comfortable and, and, and authentic to everything else outside that you're looking at, why would you force everything else or these women or those sea fish to hide themselves when it is you that just cannot hide your, your urges and you can't exercise discipline? I mean, I don't know. If you ask me, it just seems all a little bit ungodly and very hypocritical, but that's just me. What do you guys think?